Hi, I'm Donald Farmer. And I'm Casper Melted. And we're here in Bloody Pit of Blu-rays talking about some of our favorite movies. Mm -hmm. And today we're talking about a favorite Vincent Price movie that we both are big fans of. What is it, Casper? Witchfinder General. That's right. Also known as The Conqueror Worm from its American International Theatrical release where they added Vincent Price saying a little poetry at the beginning to justify using the Edgar Allan Poe title, which actually was a poem that had nothing whatsoever to do about witch burning or witch finders. <laughs> but here's, there's been many, many releases of Witchfinder General over the years, but this by far is my favorite. This is from the German label Wicked Vision, and it's the most deluxe, pimped out version of Witchfinder General you could ever wish for in your wettest dream. <laughs> If it's got not only how many uh, you would expect it to have two discs for a, two discs for a deluxe edition, this one's got two and more two more four four discs. <laughs> Can you handle four discs? Plus, it's got this illustrated book in the middle of it telling the whole story of Witchfinder General in book form. I'm not going to show you all the pages for free. You've got to order it from Wicked Vision. Then on top of that, it has just a shitload of extra features, including a documentary on the director Michael Reeves, one of the most infamous cult directors of the 60s, who died before he could really cement his reputation, but he made only a handful of films. Two of them are considered modern classics, The Witchfinder General with Vincent Price, and The Sorcerer starring Boris Karloff. Both are considered four-star classics. Uh, he also directed a Barbara Steele movie, which is not so well received, so we won't talk about that one. <laughs> uh, at the time of his passing, he was all set to re-team with Vincent Price and direct him in the Oblong Box for American International Pictures, but unfortunately, Reeves passed away before that could happen, and so at the very last minute he was replaced by director Gordon Hessler. But anyway, if you're a huge fan of Witchfinder General, and this is not only for fans of Vincent Price, it's also got cult star Ian Ogilvie that you're going to remember from movies like And Now the Screaming Starts with Peter Cushing, Herbert Lom, Stephanie Beecham. It's also got... Uh, Hilary Dwyer, who was Vincent Price's official leading lady for a period, she made uh, just a string of Vincent Price movies all in a row. After she did Witchfinder General, then she co-starred with Vincent Price in Cry of the Banshee, and then they were back together again for uh, The Oblong Box. So, And then on top of that, she made a fourth movie for American International, uh, Wuthering Heights with Timothy Dalton. So, if you're a fan of Vincent Price, Ian Ogilvie, or Hilary Dwyer, or let's not forget Rupert Davies, who played the priest in Dracula Has Risen from the Grave. Here he is as an unfortunate victim of Vincent Price in Witchfinder General, who gets his back ventilated with some pokey sticks. And uh, you'll also remember him from The Oblong Box, where he plays an artist whose picture can identify a missing man. So, uh, and also he made a movie for Peter Walker, which is, uh, you know, one of the nastiest cannibal films on record. So fans of Rupert Davies are going to want to miss this, too. But Casper, what do you like about Witchfinder General? I like everything about it. Um, I just, it's, it's not boring at all. Um, it's like a period movie. Um, and I just, I love, like, the 60s, that aesthetic mixed with, like, the old world um, witchcraft. It's uh, such a good combination. Um, it's super brutal. Um, it goes farther than you'd expect. It's, it's so beautiful. I love it so much. Oh yeah, and this was uh, one of a string of witch-burning, witch-torture movies. I think uh, the witch-torture genre really got off to a flaming start when Ingmar Bergman made The Seventh Seal in the late 50s, which has a very memorable witch-burning scene. Then Christopher Lee made one with The Bloody Judge, where he played a character very similar to Vincent Price's character in Witchfinder General. And then, what do you know, Vincent Price liked being a witchfinder so much, he came back and did it again in The, Conqueror, in the Cry of the Banshee, where he played yet another man who goes around tormenting young, beautiful girls and accusing them of witchcraft. And then, of course, uh, Peter Cushing was one of the most notorious witch finders of all time when he made Twins of Evil for Hammer, and he played maybe the nastiest witch finder on record, somebody that you really wanted to see come to a violent death immediately before he killed another beautiful woman and burned her at the stake. But anyway, we can't recommend this version of Witch Finder General highly enough. You've got to get it, and that's all we've got to say today on Bloody Pit of Blu-rays. And be sure to hit our button and subscribe, because if you don't subscribe, how do we know you like this video? Bye. Bye.